The Terminator travels to 2015. Welcome to this week's edition of Friday's Food for Thought. In the 1984 sci-fi classic, Arnold Schwarzenegger plays the role of a cyborg who travels from the year 2029 to 1984, hell-bent on the destruction of his present-day nemesis. Not unlike the movie, many fear that a new threat has traveled back in time from 2015 to 1989, the year of the Heckin program's inception, threatening the very existence of the program, the financial assessment. With detailed income and documentation requirements and the specter of fewer qualified applicants, is the financial assessment our present-day terminator? Well, not necessarily. The real threat from this decade can be found in the housing crash, younger average borrowing ages, and increased defaults due to non-payment of property charges. Now, this threat forced regulators to travel back to 1989 and re-examine the program's mission and its inherent risks. HUD faced the daunting task of re-engineering the Heckam's core and reducing future risks in the process. Now, the good news is that reverse mortgages have already survived the true judgment day that exploded in 2009 with the housing and economic crash. Now, fast forward to today, and we should note a few things to keep in mind about the upcoming financial assessment. Number one, get prepared. Read the entire property charge guide and understand it inside and out. The more familiar you are with the guidelines, the better that you can assist and assess a borrower's eligibility. Two, rescript your fact-finding process. Using the assessment worksheet, practice how to smoothly move through the questions that are necessary to determine the borrower's financial capacity and ultimately eligibility. Three, meet with your processor and underwriters, if possible, to arrange a face-to-face -face meeting with those that you'll be working on your loan files and ask what you can do to help streamline the process, also which pitfalls to avoid, and ask for their unfiltered advice. Number four, don't travel back to 1989, 2014, or any year for that matter. Unless the borrower mentions the previous standards for qualifying for a reverse mortgage, then don't. Now, mentioning that applying for a HECM in the past was much simpler is only gonna leave a sour taste in your prospective borrower's mouth. Number five, build the bridge first. More than any other time, you are going to be required to build rapport and likability with your prospects. This is essential as you will be diving into a very detailed and personal financial matters for each borrower. Don't skip this step. Number six, survivors stand to win. Those originators and lenders who can successfully weather the assessment stand to reap the benefits of the lost opportunities that are left behind by those who leave. And number seven, expect change. In the wake of numerous delays and one false start, don't be surprised if HUD does make adjustments and revisions to the financial assessment guidelines. Now we may be pleasantly surprised. Now what are your thoughts? What do you see as the real threat or terminator of the Heckin program? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and have a great weekend.